Hello everyone, welcome to Wicked West Books. I am Meg West, and today is my March wrap-up video. March got off to kind of a slow start because I was forced to read some books to get caught up for the book explosion book this month, so I didn't get too much read during the first half, but I tried to make up for that at the end, and I picked up some short books so that I could stay caught up on my challenge of 100 books for the year. So I did manage to read eight books this month, despite the slow start. And let's go ahead and jump into the books. The first three books I read were ones so that I could get caught up. City of Fallen Angels by Cassandra Clare. City of Lost Souls by Cassandra Clare. And City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare. Since these are the final books in a six book series, I don't want to give spoilers if you haven't read it yet, so very short summaries of what these books were about. In City of Fallen Angels, it takes place after the war with Valentine has been concluded, and most of the book is just normal Shadowhunter life as it should be. In City of Lost Souls, a threat from the past is full force in this book and threatens Clary and Jace's happiness. And in book six, City of Heavenly Fire, the entire story of the Immortal Instruments comes to an end with an epic battle that they name the Dark War. Also in this book, some characters for Cassandra Clare's next series get introduced. After reading those, I read the book explosion book of the month, Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. This is the new book in her new series. It takes place in the Los Angeles Institute and the main character, unlike any we've seen before, was actually born into the Shadowhunter world. You meet her in Heavenly Fire. And for my full opinions on this, I'm going to link the Lady Midnight review that I posted down below. When I was finally finished with the Cassandra Clare novels, I finally got to read books that I actually wanted to read. And the first book I picked up is a new release, Fire Touched, by Patricia Briggs. This is book nine in the Mercy Thompson novels, and it didn't disappoint. This is an urban fantasy series that is mostly werewolves. There's some vampires thrown in, and there is one grumpy old fae who we absolutely love. And in this book, a boy who has been locked in Underhill, the fairy realm, for the past several hundred years, is released from Underhill, and everyone wants to keep him as a prisoner and torture information from him about Underhill. He runs to Mercy for protection, and this book kind of follows what happens after that. And after finishing Fire Touched, I was kind of in the mood for more Patricia Briggs, so I picked up Dragon Bones and Dragon Blood by Patricia Briggs. This is a duology. These are high fantasy novels set in the Five Kingdoms, and basically the main character, Wardwick, has played dumb for most of his life in order to keep his father from killing him. Only he dies very close to the beginning of book one, and now Ward has to prove to everyone that he is not as dumb as he has pretended to be. He needs to be able to run Hurik, his country. They're very short reads, and I enjoyed them a lot, but not quite as much as Mercy. It is the only full-length novels by Patricia Briggs I've read where she has a male protagonist. And the final book I read this month is Airman by Owen Colfer. I absolutely love Owen Colfer's writing. The Artemis Fowl series is one of my absolute favorites of all time. It is a standalone novel that is kind of an alternate history in which the king gave a couple of islands to someone else to be a king over, thinking it was absolutely nothing. He was throwing away land that no one was going to live on anyway. And lo and behold, they find a ginormous diamond cache, the biggest cache in the world of diamonds. So all of a sudden, this little tiny island that can't really grow anything is one of the richest places in the entire world. 700 years later, they are still managing to mine diamonds out of the mine every single day. At this point in time, there is also a race going on all over the world on trying to build a heavier than air 
flying machine and that is something that the main character wants to do. He has dreamt of flying his entire life and our main character is betrayed and framed for a crime he did not commit. He gets sent to the jail to mine diamonds and everyone who loved him thinks he should belong there. And it's, it's really a great, great book. I enjoyed it a lot. And I'm really glad that I picked this one up again because this was a reread for me. And that's it. That's all that I read for this month. I will see you guys next week for a new video. Have a wicked day.